Hello, another vid. Uh, that last vid I just made, uploaded, and I wanted to show the laminated core. So, what I have is uh, the laminated core that I showed in the last video. And it's uh, just iron, well, it's got iron in it. But wire bound up. It's about the size of the what the spool can handle. Again, same wiring configuration, right? This this spool has been flipped around doesn't change the winding direction but um, it changes the pole it, the poles of these of this coil in relation to that one I'm gonna get it started up uh, and Just to mention, I wanted to show this because it's it's kind of cool. Um, the wheel, when there's nothing there, just the wheel, nothing against it. <clears throat> this wheel with this input, with these resistors here before the motor, goes 445 RPM. Now I put coils up there, and if it's a U, there's quite a bit of attraction to the magnets. Rebar, you know same thing or heavier thicker iron I have been using as well but with these laminated cores like these are a good weight as compared to even the other ones I've been trying um, nice and heavy actually um, but the wheel acts like with the laminated next to it it acts like there's nothing there and it's the laminations I'm seeing People probably already know this, but um, those laminations, it's going to go up to uh, 420 RPM is what it gets up to. It's going to take another second. The input is almost the same as with nothing next to the wheel. Um, it's only, well right now it's the same amp. I don't have a voltmeter in there right now, but it's going to be the same. I'm going to have one more look at it, and then I want to show you the so 400 and 419 RPM. Okay, now I've got it hooked up to the motor again, and I'm going to flick the switch here. There we go. And you'll see it starts by itself now. Gonna give it a little nudge. Speed things up. But again, I have reflective tape on there. There's 140 milliamps or 0.14 amps. And again, it's not taking all the energy out of those coils. It's leaving some back. But this is speeding up nicely. <clears throat> the input has increased slightly because the wheel is slower. Now, when the laminations <laughs> are, uh, enable, like the like the iron's not even there almost, it enables the magnet to pass by very easily. But when you start using the energy from the coils, as with the effect, um, now it slows down a touch, right? So it's kind of the opposite, which, you know, isn't that great, I guess, but I wanted to show you guys. Because I mentioned it in the last bit, and it was, I switched up the cores, and I wanted to show you. But again, the inputs, very near the same. And this is where it settles at, about 393 which is a good speed actually percentage wise compared to nothing against the wheel and for what I'm getting here right so I'm gonna I have uh, reflective tape on here as well now 
370 RPM, it looks like. About 370. So we're going 370 RPMs. I want to go about three times that. And with a little smaller wire gauge, I think it's going to be good. I want to throw some more bolts through this as well. A little higher voltage. Uh, going through there because that little motor will take 30 volts <clears throat> This one will take 24 And actually I've hooked the output up to this motor this motor is a better load closer to a short um, And uh, I'll do that in another video But um, Just wanted to show you the laminated cords. I'll keep it shorter than the last video But again input relatively close to Unengaged input and let's see, 390, 393 RPMs. And again, if we could short this out, it would be good. And our little wheel, 380, close to 380. And again, I want to get close to 1,200 here. But I hope you guys realize, see where I'm going. I mean, the Homopolo motor, like I, a driver motor, is a short and it's going to be best, right? But where I'm going here is, I think I can put about, well, I can put four of these sets around this. More than that, actually. And um, it should be, well... This right here is pretty good for one coil set, and if I get uh, a little smaller gauge wire on there with a little higher voltage going through here, it's going to be even better. But there you go, just wanted to show you that. Wanted to show you the um, laminated cores compared to the uh, U-core and compared in uh, with respect to the effect. But there you go. Wanted to make it a vid and trying to keep it a little shorter. And uh, I'll have more to come. I'll have more free time this week, so expect a barrage of videos. Um, there you go. Take care. Talk to you later.